Munchy! Anti Cheryl! Respect. The zone, baby. Coming to America soon. MSG will be back. How are you, Anti? Love you, Anti. Love you, Liam. This video needs no introduction, but a simple narration with incredible information. Hi guys, my name is Raymond and you're welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of Nigerian African Boxing. Let's just get straight to it. The unified world king of the universe and the Joshua, we all know how he dealt with the Bulgarian brute, you know, just last week in year, Joshua put on a great masterclass. But a lot of haters, you know, including including Xboxers like Andre Ward, did not give him credit. I mean, when Reyes Jr. lost, uh, when uh, Andre Reyes Jr. got beat by you know Anthony Joshua, he didn't give Israel credit. But when Joshua lost to Andre in the first the first fight, like he then had that he began to hear his uh, his disgust for Joshua, his disdain for Joshua. Like saying that, oh, he's a, you know he's an Instagram model, you know, you know he looks top shape, look like a, like Hercules, you know, like not really, you know, like he does, he's not taking boxing serious. Believe you me, as reward, no matter how great you are, you can never be Anthony Joshua. You would knock you spark out as a fact, you know. I understand you're a very good boxer. You was a very good boxer. You're still a very good boxer. You're already tired anyway. You're tired for a reason. Let's not forget about that. So the hate Joshua gets, the lack of you know respect you know for joshua coming from some you know even as boxers the jealousy is just visible you are no longer fighting you never you you've never even when you were active you never fed up you never feed up a, a stadium like joshua did you know like joshua does and you never will it's just a fact you know we nigerians i don't know why a lot of people envy us a lot you know, I've noticed that even me right here, you know, like, I, like I've noticed even fellow my fellow Africans envy me sometimes. You know, people who just live near nearby near the street here. I don't even like I don't mingle with them like that, but I see them. Hey, what's up? What's up? What's up? I'm a brotherly guy. I'm a I'm a guy that I see if I see anybody that look like me, you know, or anybody at all, I just say hi and all the stuff. But when you start seeing the jealousy, you know, you have to like make way. You know, what I mean, you you know, like Nigerians say make way. Uh, Tajak, but what do you think about Andrew Ward's you know, hatred towards the Joshua? Is it jealousy? Is it hatred? Or is it just this guy? The, like, there are some people you just see because they're doing better than you and they will, they, will, they will forever be bigger than you. You just don't like them. Why do you think Xbox, some ex bosses, some promoters, you know, even some you know, random guys who never met Joshua before, who don't know anything about him, maybe see something on TV or maybe heard some stories about him. Of course, him growing up, getting into into the dark side of life, you know. But still, you have to respect a guy that he did not, you know, really um, continue in that part. He left that part and purchased, pursued. You know, um, a greater part, which is to become an everywhere world champion, and he did that and became a role, a role model to everyone. You see, with Andrew Ward, um, Andrew Ward did what he had, what he did in his career. You know, he got the respect, but I feel as if it's uh, maybe it's intimidation. It's it, it, jealousy and everybody is entitled to their opinion but let's not say the opinion doesn't come with backlash from fans you know and for people who support anthony joshua whether he likes it or not yes he's a he's a box himself he understands boxing you know let's not say andre Ward was perfect himself andre Ward was less he's, he wasn't that perfect you know some of his some of his styles had had a uh, 
had um, had uh, things to be fixed, which he did fix them, but still he wasn't perfect. Um, Andre Ward is a respectable boxer who's in the Hall of Fame. Instead of bashing Anthony Joshua, he should be the one trying to, you know, uplift this uplift the young uh, uplift the young man you know not say oh i was i was gonna fight anthony joshua this this test this this that and the third like come on man you know that's his when you when he says stuff like that it's his pure jealousy you know you're either listening to other people talk and then you want to get your two cents in it you know but at the same time it's it's questionable to me that some people might think he's hating which you know he has his own he has his own, um, you know, fan base who don't dis- who dislike him, and other people who have words for him. Although he is an undefeated fighter, he might feel a sense of you know cockiness in him, saying, "Yeah, um, I know, I know what's best. I know what's good, you know, just because I I'm undefeated, you know. Um, I'm not even I'm not that well impressed with with um, Andre Ward, you know." Yes, he had some. He had some, maybe two, three good wins. He was smart to leave the game because eventually he was gonna. Let's be honest. He was gonna lose anyways if he stayed in the game longer. You know, he he beat he beat Carl Frosch, uh, Carl Frosch, uh, unanimous decision. One of his notable wins, uh, Sylvian Barrera, um, Kovalev, Ko, uh, uh, Sergey Kovalev twice, twice. Which is very hard to do, you know. Kovalev, known as a crusher back then, was um, was a much dangerous fighter, and he dismantled Kovalev. Not dismantled, he took him to the twelfth round, and the second time he beat him KO. You know, so all those fights probably come with cockiness, but to me, I don't think he beat a lot of talented fighters. You know, so. As much as he want to say, you know, they, they put him in there. He, yes, he he accomplished a lot. Absolutely, he accomplished a lot. But eventually, I believe I do believe he would have gotten dethroned. You know, that's why he that's why you see people ask him, "Oh, come back." And he says no. He's afraid to lose that. Oh, and I'm gonna be honest with you. That's what I feel like. He's afraid to lose that zero. If he gets that zero, he knows it's gonna be hard. That's why you see him. I, he, he won't return. Yes, he has 32 wins and zero losses. That is very hard to do in this game. Very hard. But do you dare to be great is the question. And a lot of these fighters, they care more about the zero than taking L on their losses. I think it psychologically messes with them. So he stayed. He, I don't see him. I don't see him. You know, coming back because of that. And I don't see him that great. But I still see him. Yes, he's in the Hall of Fame. You know. Everybody has their own opinion, but let's not say that opinion does not come with criticism from fans. AJ is he's, a, he's learning. Come from when he fought when he fought um, Pulev. When he pulled off that co- uh, that pole counter, that was very impressive to me. No top five elites. I repeat again, no top five elite boxers right now have done that. None of them have not done that. Tyson Fury has not even displayed something like that. Never. All he does is little irky jerky movements. That's it. Those irky jerky movements. I don't think they work on elites. You know. And let's just say, AJ still learning. The man is still learning. You know. I can tell you, AJ has a has a thick skin, and he welcomes he welcomes criticism, and he, he learns from it. You know. And, as, low, as much as I said, people have their own opinion. That's where I'm going to end. Thanks, brother. I really appreciate it. It's one thing to criticize. There's like a constructive criticism. is different from a pure jealousy and hatred, man. It's crazy, but you know the unified way king of the universe is always ready to learn. And it doesn't entertain haters as well. Like, Joshua learned from the best. He's learning from the best. He's learning from different corners of the world, and he's not gonna understand people that you know, man, like that, 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 that just jealous, pretty jealous, man. I used to like Andrew Ward. I mean, I don't. As a fighter, he was okay, you know. 
Was okay, he was he's talented though as a fighter, but as a person, I think he's a, he's a sore loser, bro. I tell you that. And um, it is what it is. Our Nigerian brother, Anthony Joshua. Like I always said, like I always said before, now we lose or draw, we, we die here, bro. What are you? Shameless verse.